So I read this book, Ikigai, which is meaning, finding meaning in life. And it says that the seventh truth of finding meaning is reconnecting with nature every once in a while to recharge our batteries, even though we live in the cities these days. And so could this be me trying to connect with nature? <laughs> because I was obsessing over what to wear. I was thinking, what if a lion or something starts chasing me? Is this trust is not too big? It will just grab on it. Then I changed to these ones. And then the stockings, they were just so big. And I was trying to see, okay, going, going, going. That's it. Just look at me. I want the shoes because I, I knew what if something starts chasing me on the fly and then I have to lose one leg of shoes because I knew that I would survive it. But what if I have to lose one leg of shoes? It should be the bad thing. Okay. I always take that out. A tip. Pro tip. So, fellow nature enthusiasts, nature is a beautiful thing. When you are out there, it's not just a physical journey. It's something that connects you like i'm looking at this terrain i'm looking at all these crops and i'm looking at people and i'm wondering like this man coming right in front of me i'm going to go with him he went up to pray if you can see the bible the hiking experience of two individuals is going to differ honestly but whatever kind of person that you are whether you hate physical activity or you like physical activity you are going to like it at the end of the day in fact look at me look at me just look at her in fact when you like physical activity you're going to take hiking like it's one of those physicals but if you don't even have any inclination to it like me because i was just stressing over the stress i'm going to experience and you will have an experience of a lifetime when I climbed on this rock and I just felt powerful look at me charging up only that I didn't have a sword so that is how I stood there looking for the place to sit but I had to sit down first eh, so that I can rest that's more climbing then we now took our trail that's what they call it the path that you are going to follow on the climbing so first of all you think that this trail this thing you think you are working on a flat line or because the way the thing is it will be ground down but when you reach up there your breath will tell a different story you will breathe in very hard okay oh, I'm like can you see can you see the whole world behind me it will be high literally and figure so in typical life you will experience some challenges it started raining and i just had to find a way to deal with it so i had this policing bag in my bag i wanted to put my phone inside then i remember i had a wig on that's what nature would do to make you feel so comfortable but then again i'm always like this It's the dead end on this one. There is no tree here. It's just all rocks and bushes. All rocks and bushes. Meanwhile. Water is the most important thing to take with you on a hike. And that support stick, I cannot overemphasize. Even though the umbrella is spoiled, I had to still keep using it. I didn't know, I always see people with that stick, but I will always undermine it. At this point, someone went in front of us with a cutlass. I saw him going, no, not even a cutlass, a machete. So I was afraid of going forward, but my baby girl encouraged that we go but fast so we went you look at it you think that you are walking on a normal ground just in the bush but actually you are up that's the thing that is 
that is so amazing about this whole thing. So we got to this place that looks like one of those playing grounds we were hearing about why coming and it looked very scary. So I wanted to see if it's something that human beings wear. You know just going close to and i saw biscuit sachets so. i wanted to know what was behind the rocks at the same time i wanted to i didn't want to, i was afraid of walking through the sanctuary circle so i had to just go around it and know and know what was behind i'm curious to see what is behind this place You will see different natural relationships with your aunts feasting on the frog, the dead frog. And these are two girls fighting. Hey, so I decided to help both of them. And then this other one, before she could get her firewood tied up, it started raining. I went to hide. Take shade, rather. But um, her firewood wasn't ready. It was very disorganized. We struggled for a long time, okay? While the rain was beating me, I was trying to help her, but guys, my strength is not that much. It is not. So, when I couldn't, I told her, look, you have to untie this thing and retie it back. So, I left her. Love yourself first, then your neighbor. So, I ran. I went to take shit again. So, coming down. Your speed is going to be like a Porsche with no brakes. I am unstoppable. We even lost our way. <laughs> but it's going to be very steep. You will have to be careful. Like that's why it's important. Your shoes have to be really solid. Okay, so that all those stomping, all those stomping, they will not make it your legs pain you. At this point, mine were really paining me because my shoe is not really solid. I'm still shiny and shiny. Mm. At this point of coming back, all I can say is that my legs, my legs are paining me so much. I can keep a normal face. <laughs> From separating that fight and carrying the firewood, like I had stains on my on my shirt, and but then I feel good. I'm shiny, I'm shiny, sweetie. I'm shiny. I'm not shiny. <laughs> it went off the, oh my god. I'm still shiny and shiny. <clears throat> I'm still shiny. So that's the end. Thank you for joining me on this soul rejuvenating adventure. Remember, connecting with nature on a hike is not just a physical journey, it's a journey of the heart and mind. Until next time. Keep exploring and stay connected to the world around you. Okay, and if you like this video, kindly remember to subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Bye.